All right, guys. Go swim bait. All right. Oh, my God. It's super cold out. Guys, look what I just looked into. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Yo, mystery tackle box pro right here. Let's go. I just looked into a mystery tackle box. I can't believe it. Woo! What's going on today, guys? Tom here. And how awesome was that? I just caught a random mystery tackle box right in the water with this one. That was pretty cool right there. I'm a deep sea rod, but let's get into it. Welcome to another episode of unboxing. So I hope you guys are ready for this one. It's going to be pretty interesting. I'm excited. You're excited. We're all good. Before I get into it, make sure you comment and subscribe. Actually, you know what? Forget the comment. Go subscribe because if I get a lot of views on this, I know you guys are watching the video. So I'm going to say it now. Go subscribe. I'll know if you subscribe. If you guys watch the video, at least put a like down below. Let's get to it. So what we got? So, let's see, we got a spinner, spinner, square bill, prices, a thingy, a thingy, soft plastic, soft plastic. Alright, so we are equivalent to $40 in this entire pack. So, let's get into it. We're going to do number one through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one through seven, and we'll go right from there. So, let's start with it. Number one is the Lucky Craft LC. 1.5 SSR, which is this beauty right here. This is a square bill bait, which is worth $13. And I gotta say, I'm kind of afraid to use this because I know I'm up north, North Jersey Lakes. They hit square bills a lot. Anything with bright color, anything with that flashes, glimmers in the water, it will be hit. So I'm really scared to use this because it is $13, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Hopefully, I'll get some fish on it, but it is a nice looking lure. It's got a right, nice red color. We'll give you a closer look in a second. All right, number two, the Janko Fishing Offspring, which is right here. This bait is nine, no, sorry, ten dollars. It is a normal spinning bait. It's got a gold spinner up top, low profile here, square shape here with a nice steel frame. So, I don't really need to go through that right now, and I've done, it looks very nice in the package, I'm afraid. No, I'm just kidding. So, We'll go through that. We'll do a nice unboxing there for a little bit. We'll give you a closer look on that one. Number three is the Bio Leeches, which is $6, which are these right here. So, Bio Bait. Never dries out, unrevealed scent, and hair resistant. Sorry. Unrevealed and unrivaled scent. Okay. Infused with fish oil. Well, I guess we just found out the scent, didn't we? All right, so these are already, I'm not gonna take them out just yet, but I don't know what these smell like, but I did open this up and I had a pack of these before on the other one, but we'll get into that. But right now, these are just black swim baits. They give you, oh here, never dries out, made a real fish oil. All right, so unrevealed. They just revealed it, so it's kind of back and forth. But they give you on the back a wacky rig, a, a go-to, a weed list, a swim bait. Any ways you can, many ways you can use this little tiny um, leech. So we'll get into that, another soft plastic. All right, next is the Luker Hunt True Spin. This is actually a pretty interesting bait, if I, don't, if I don't say so myself. It is a fish profile that actually has a spinner on the back of the tail and a treble hook on the bottom. So it has some weight to it. It is a 13, 13 16 ounce weighted lure. So this is, it says natural series, that's what it's called. But we'll get into that. We'll give you a closer look. But it is a fish representation. That might actually catch a lot of fish. I'd be really shocked if I catch a bluegill or a crappie on this. That'd be very nice. Maybe a crappie. Crappie would be good. All right. Next would be number five. Bait Lab SQ Worm. Okay. Before I mention anything about this bait, it smells like crap. I'm not kidding. 
I first opened the box, it smelled like it. It smelled like this bait. And I wanted to puke. I opened the bait, I smelt it, and I, I ran to the bathroom. I'm not kidding. This scent, they don't joke around with it. But before I do anything, I'll tell you what it is. Bait Lab is the ultimate strike baits. It This is extreme squid scent. Tournament winning action. High tech bait design. Strong flavor. That's not a lie. Ultimate strike formula. Okay. Not for human consumption. If you eat this, you will probably die just from the scent that it's with. Before you even get close to it, as soon as you smell it, you're going to die. So, I'm, just, I, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm actually afraid. You barely have to open this to get a scent of it, but I'm like... <coughs> Don't open the bait. Don't open it. I'm doing it up close. I'll show you what it looks like. I am not... Oh, I still smell it. Alright, that's going over there. What's oh, on my hand? I still smell it in my nose. <coughs> That's really bad. Don't open the bait. If you're gonna do it, hold your breath, hold the hold the hook away, and do it from a distance, and then wash your hands right after. That's what you're gonna have to do. All right, that is worth five dollars and ten cents. All right, next up, Excite Bakes Pega X. Pega X, P E G A X U S. I'm just gonna call it the Excite Bait. This is made by Excite. They are weight stoppers. If you guys don't know what weight stoppers are, you can do it on a Texas rig. If you have a bullet weight on a fluke or a craw or any creature bait that you want to use just to get down to the bottom and jerk around a little bit. But um, what you do with this, you put your line through, you tighten it, and you pull it off, and it stays where your line's going to be so your weight isn't going up and down your line when you're just pulling it in and stuff like that. It keeps it nice in place. So these are going to be really handy. I haven't used them in a while, but... I'm glad they sent me this because I actually was right about to buy a pack a couple days ago. Next up, last but not least, the Katana Neko Hook Pack. Okay, so Katana is a Neko Hook. You would use this on a wacky rig where you would then, they sell it at Fast Pro Shops and Cabela's. You put your worm through this like little tiny metal tube. They have a bunch of like these silicone O-rings that you just pull over and you put the hook through that and it gives it a better representation. But if you guys aren't familiar with that, go pick up one of these if you want to try it out. They only give you two of them, so if you guys like it and you don't like it, you'll know just by trying this out. I'm not a big fan of Wacky Rigs, but I might try it. So, let's get into it. By the end of this video, you're going to know my number one through number seven of what I'm going to use and what I'm not at least going to use. We'll try it out myself, and then which baits I'm going to use probably in a review of itself to give you guys a better representation of what I'm going to do. So, let's get to it. So, let's do this up close adventure right now. I'm not going to take them out of the, the um, packages just now because I do I don't have, really have a neat bag to put them in right now. So we're going to do the up close right here. Let's see if I can focus this for you guys. This is my number one. I like this one a whole lot. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Look at that. Perfect. Alright, so this is the thir $13 Lucky Craft 1.5 SSR. You can see the detail on that. The red. It is actually see-through with a nice rattle to it. I think this dives about three to four feet. So um, I do like this very much. You guys, I'll leave all the descriptions below. Hope you guys will enjoy it. But go check it out and let me know what you guys think. This one right here, I actually like a lot. This is the Lucre Hunt True Spin. Let's try to get that closer for you guys. I'm gonna get this out of the package. Right there, right there, right there. Boom. Up. Oh, nope. Hang it down. Alright, so remember I said it was like a fish representation? Look at that. It looks like a little trout. Little trout. It's so heavy. Oh my god. It's really heavy. So, you got your line tie up here. You got a nice little treble hook, which is actually pretty sharp. Then you have a nice little spinner right at the back. I do like this a lot. This is going to catch. I'm really interested to see what fish this will catch. I'm thinking more of a crappy. Or maybe like a really tiny bass. Maybe this is like for um, spawning. Just like put on a bed and pass by and just let them smack it and just go for it. Might be something different. But this would be actually pretty interesting. This might be a review in itself and see how it performs. So we'll get to that. We'll just put this right there for right now. Good. My number three that I'm most likely going to use is the Excite Weight Stoppers. 
I do like these a lot. Let's see if I can focus these at all. I don't know if the, I don't know if it's gonna pick it up or not. There we go. So you have these little wire cables at the front. It's really hard to see, but basically you put your line through the wire cables and you pull that black weight off and you just pinch it right on. And wherever you want to put it on your line, that's where your weight's gonna stop. So very neat, nice, very neat nice trick. They, very neat trick. But they give you this little ring that you can separate them and keep them wherever you want. So this is actually really good. I'm going to be using this. This is my number three. All right, number four, which is, I should have made this one my last, but I'm really eager to see how this strong scent does. Like I said, extreme squid scent. These things smell so bad. I was coughing. I had to take, I had to go get a drink really quick and everything. It was really bad. You can see it's like a nice watermelon color. Really nice. I'm not taking them out of the package. I'm not doing it as much as people want me to. Open the package probably again for me to cough. But it is actually really nice. It does look like it has like these little tiny eye representations on the front. They have like two eyes on each side. But it's not the blue. Not the blue. It's actually on the bait. It's kind of hard to kind of hard to see a little bit. But there are like these little eye representations up there on the side too. They're, like these little things on the top. And there's one on the other side. But overall, nice looking bait, strong smell. We'll see how it goes. I'm not opening that right now. Right now, the Neko hook right here. You guys obviously know what this is if you guys use a wacky rig. Katana. So you basically, you're just going to wrap this along on top of your worm. Make it as center as possible. Maybe a little off center to get a little bit more action wise. And just you know, slip this hook right on through and give that presentation. You're just going to jerk it up and down. A little floater up at the bottom. Let it sink back down. Float about to float about. Put it off the water, float it back down. Pretty easy to use, but if you guys want to get back into it, this might be a little tiny pack you want to get. Just to see how you like it. Remember, you only have two. You don't need to buy an entire pack for no reason. My number six would be the Bio Bait Leeches infused with fish oil. These are just basically black flukes that look just like worms. You can actually use them for, this one says, a wacky rig. Wacky. Like I said, you put your little thing there. You put your hook through. A go tube, a weedless, and or a swim bait. So either way, whatever you guys want to use it for, this might be your go to bait. I didn't open it. I kind of don't want to smell it after smelling that one. You know, this one right here. So I'm not going to open it. It is a sealed pack, and I have nothing. I don't have my tackle box with me to do anything right now. So these are just going right back in the box, and I don't want my car to smell. So we'll see how it goes. But these are my number six, and my number seven, which I'm probably not going to use as much, would be my spinner. This is the Offspring, I believe so. No, yes, yeah, the Jenko Fishing Offspring. I had to think about it for a second there, but it does have the gold spinner on it. Nice low profile. It's not that big compared to my hand. Like if you really think about it, it's very tiny. So it might you might get a nice bass probably going for this more than anything than this, but it does have a nice sharp hook on there. I am looking at that. So, so with all of it, I think the square bill is going to do more damage. This little tiny spinning fish trout looking heavy bait thing might actually get some nice looks at in the water. So we're going to go with that. So my top three would have to be, top three, top two would be the square bill and the weighted bait. My third one would be the excite weight stoppers. The smelly bait is my number, my number four. And then my katana bio and the spinner so if you guys want to see the prices you guys can pause the video right here once this focuses sooner or later anytime now anytime there we go so if you guys want to go check them out these are the prices for you i'm going to leave all the descriptions of the baits down below and a link to where to get them if you guys want to go check them out so let's go through and we'll let me line them all up and we'll get right to it Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys enjoyed the intro, I hope you guys enjoyed all the baits I just reviewed and the up close features and how I'm going to be using them, and remember, don't open up that bait. So, let's just get to it, I hope you guys liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Not much, not much more to say about it, but if you guys are watching the video, like it, subscribe, I'll know if you do, hopefully you guys do. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of 2019, which I'm kind of hoping I'm pretty close, I don't know what I'm at right now, I haven't checked in like a couple days but i'm trying to make a couple videos for you guys i hope you guys enjoy this one and i'll catch you guys on the next one stay on top
I'll catch you later. So say goodbye to the average life and hello to the bass fishing world. He put everything that he had on the line. Let's just say he was so for real. Some thought his overreaction to catching fish was kind of overkill. Break dancing in the bow with the boat when the only dance that they'd known was Bill. Yeah. Yeah. Add that to the flat brim cap and the lack of the classic. Bass fishing accent matched with the tats, put a flag in his back of the classic. Caught flag from fanatics, adding a marriage, collapse to the madness. Cap with a pattern of bad days of practice. Yeah, what you had was an angler. Hanging by two pound test, the hair away from snapping. Come on.